And with that, Freestyle Friday comes to a ferocious conclusion as we have the two cold weather teams. It's the Blizzard, and it's the cold weather birds themselves, the Puffins, or Smenguins as they're so called. I am Curtis. I'm along with Ninja Rider for the last series of the evening and Ninja. A couple of teams, they had opposite results last week and yeah. should be fun. Yeah, no, this one should be great. Uh, Blizzard went actually took the Foxes down four to one, who we just saw mm -hmm. uh, play some brilliant Rocket League. They had their moments for sure. Uh, definite improvement as they played the Wolves just now. Uh, but the Smangwins are all our old buddies. The Penguins uh, actually beat the Wolves three to two. So this whole division is hotly contested uh, all the way through. Uh, Puffins being represented by Stevo and Waffles tonight, who I have not seen play, but I'm hearing good things. So really looking forward to that. And uh, the Blizzard Zero Azrith and Point Blank should be fantastic, Curtis. I, I can't wait. What a heck of a way to knock out Freestyle Friday. Yeah, absolutely. Should be a good one. No matter what, as these two teams, as mentioned, opposite results, one win, one loss either way. But uh, Blizzard and, P and Puffins about to set, about to get set to do battle. We're going to send them the signal to get on to the pitch or the ice as it so is on DFH Snowy, which still, in my opinion, yeah. the worst of the four winter maps. <laughs> but <laughs> but it is what it is. I know it's I, for the people. So, I mean, honestly, though, it does look really nice. All things considered, I, I know. I know. It kind of messes <laughs> with your with your eyes a little bit, especially when we yeah, start changing the colors up. But a this, little bit. This blue, like light blue, yellow, just pops off, though. Yeah, I, I could. I okay. Well, I'll, I'll leave it at that. This is gonna, <laughs> we're going to get underway with game number one, and the ninja of the call is yours. Loose ball, zero Azrith right towards that yellow frame, and it's in from midfield. Complete mess up by the blizzard yeah a little bit of overextension zero azareth going moving forward has plenty of boost just carries momentum back towards the halfway line and he's able to burn him on an empty net the 14 second strike early for the blizzard as they get off to a good start here we go kick off again less than 15 seconds into this one point blank in this one way it's right to steve -O. challenged well it gets a great 50 50 as it bounces off the ceiling Steve -O going backwards now he has no momentum to challenge but zero will whiff that and waffles comes through off the wall, pass to himself towards oh. the net. Point blank will miss it. Great shot. I want to see where Waffles was here on the, or not Waffles, the uh, defender on the boost. And I think it was just a matter of him jumping way too late at that. He's got to see that shot coming a little bit sooner and be able to get up for that. Unable to do so, not able to get a nose on it. Pretty easy one long, and it's a 1 1 game. Heck of a game coming up here. Less than a minute to tie it all up. Diva gets the clear around the corner, but zero to challenge. Called off by Waffles. Advancing slowly are the Puffins. They're not exactly fast birds, but you got to get moving here in Rocket League. Diva off the wall. He's past both. Zero is racing towards the net. Wraps it around. Can he make it happen? No save. Waffles takes the shot. Yep, good one. That's a that's a really big one for the Puffins, and it starts with the touch here by Stevo. Stevo draws the defender into a bit of an awkward place. Zero Azareth ends up in the back of his own net, way too far to be able to get out in front to stop the second shot, and it's a two to one lead. Just a minute gone. Zero, this is towards the net. Stevo electing to not go for that. It was a good move. Zero whiff. Good demo. and takes one for the team. A fantastic demo indeed, Curtis. Yeah, good, good physical play, knocking the uh, Puffins defensively, or knocking the uh, Blizzard defensively out of their wits a little bit as the as they try to take possession. But Blizzard have had a majority Ooh. of the action in the offensive end, and they're going to get another one here on a zero Azeroth dunk. A bad challenge here by Waffles. I think he, he must have thought he had a lot more room, but when he flipped into the ball, he lost complete control of it instead of pushing it towards the corner uh, away from control from the opposing team. But the Blizzard... Tie this one up here. 335 left. Lots of action to be had. Waffles did not call off Stevo. So takes a hit and ball towards the offensive end for the Puffins. Popped up. Waffles trying to make something happen off the backboard. Point blank will come away from his net to clear this one away as the Puffins reset. 
past the zero is Stevo, and he's got one more. He loses control of the ball. It, it was a good idea to go for the dribble right there and possible flick, but now point blank has a chance. Missed touch by the Puffins, and it's 3 2. Two point swing, and on the dribble on the other side, just uh, kind of ran out of boost, lost control of the ball, and it was a fairly easy one to return it the other way. And Blizzard, with a couple of unanswered goals, bring the lead back, and a lot of goals scored in the first two minutes. Andrew. Tons of goals scored, man. This is going to be a shootout as we move off a of kickoff here. Zero will win this, but Waffle's trying to get some control past Zero. Looking for another challenge. Pass back to Stevo. What are going to do with it here? Off the backboard is really awkward. Popped up. Really dangerous. Zero doesn't know, quite know what to do. Oh. He gets the touch off the bumper to knock it away. I mean, it was risky, but it worked out. Something to keep in mind right now, too. The Blizzard are running what seems to be a 1-1. One -one. They have one guy up, and they have one guy sitting basically as far back as possible. So if they continue that, that's basically more like playing a prevent defense against any of these Rocket League teams, and they may get burned on it. So something to look out for. Not really rotating all that well is the Blizzard right now, but they do have faith in their teammates, and it's exactly what they need. Oh, Point Blake just challenged a little too early on that. And Steve will find the way. Yeah, this is a really, really good touch as well. Just uh, w Waffles setting up Steve for the, I believe that's the second time, yeah. just off that same back wall, just drawing out the defender and making the defender guess where the ball is going to be shot from instead of waiting back for the shot. So a 3-3 game, and that is with about two minutes left. Steve-O across his own net, really dangerous. The zero was right there, but he didn't have any momentum to take advantage of Steve-O's near blunder. Back into the corner we go. Waffles advancing. Point blank right out to Stevo. Very dangerous. Redirection. Zero gets up in time. Not a strong clear. Point blank does finish the play. Stevo shadowing. So, oh, big looking. bump. Oh, my God. Ooh. Bumps all over the place. And that was a near shot. Almost a pool shot, in fact. But now a big clear from Stevo. And as we see it, Zero Azrath seems to be that static goaltender that NMJ mentioned in chat as well. He is the uh, he's the defender in this 1-1 one, one strategy, point blank. As I say that, Zero brings it up oh. and has a shot in. So, yep. you know, just completely ruined what I was going to say, Azrath. That's fine. You know, no problem. 4-3. <laughs> well, I mean, he found himself in the proper position. He didn't have a lot of boost, but he was right there anyways. Ball is moving fairly slow. So he's able to get in position, flip that one in for a little bit more speed just to make sure that one goes in. But a minute 25 left, Curtis. Plenty of time here for the Puffins to tie it up. Oh, they got a one-on-one -on -one chance here. Nope. Okay. But the Blizzard, they haven't fallen apart. They're keeping their cool. Eh, <laughs> Blizzard. Ah, uh, I see what you did there. Totally didn't mean to do that, but that works. That's a lie. <laughs> wow, called out. Waffles right at Point Blank's nose and away from the net. Great save. They needed it right there. Yeah, they did. Keeping the ball out of the blizzard net with the Puffins. They are finding the offense. And part of the reason is because they have a really good offensive in rotation and midfield presence right now. Oh! And it continues the physical play there. That is going to do the job. And <laughs> when the goalie's static in the net, why not just go take him out, Ninja? Exactly. Azareth kind of came out to challenge the ball. Waffles said, no, you're totally going to do that. <laughs> I'm going to take you out for it. Now, Stevo was not in position to take advantage of that play. So luckily, Waffles had the wherewithal to flip into the ball and make sure it heads towards the net. Zero was there, I believe it was Zero, to try to cover, or it was point blank to try to cover, but it didn't work out. This ball statics out here on the right side of the orange net. Is that orange or yellow? I don't really it's sure all that. Cat, um, pass? Harry? Yeah, pass. Pass, <laughs> going, going to pass. <laughs> yep, it's pass. <laughs> Not sure which color it is. Either way, it's definitely different, so it helps my eyes out. But uh, 19 seconds left, 4-4 game. Blizzard are going to hurt themselves a whole lot more if they continue that 1-1 strategy. So oh. look for them to Zero. change that in the second game should they get out of this one alive. Zero attempted to clear that one away. It's not strong. Steve has one more try. Game one, no point Ooh. blink. Bl blocks it perfectly. This one is down to the wire. We're in overtime. Okay, same color as Fox's main, then yes, it's a yellow. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, Thank totally. you, Jay. <laughs> four, four game, and uh, I think this game is definitely the Puffins to lose. I think they've been the stronger unit so thus far in this first contest, and look to see that continuing as we get later into OT. Devo wrapping it around the corner. Waffles was not there to help out, but blocked away here by the Blizzard. Zero to line up a shot, pinch. 
Diva wisely comes at the ball. Not a great challenge, but it worked anyways. Double commit by the Blizzard. This is really dangerous. Waffles doesn't have to mess it up, and he does throw it in. They take the win. Good stuff. Waffles super, super patient with it. Catches the Blizzard napping a little bit as they're just in the same spot at the same time. Two bunched up for their own liking. I think they might have heard me and started playing a little bit away from their own net, which is fine, but you have to communicate where you are, and you yes. can't you bunch up in the same spot. And Puffins take full advantage, take game one. Something that is extremely stressed in the Platinum League, your communication skills must be honed here. Yeah. Uh, and, and perfect evidence, as we just saw. But Waffles, great play all over. I, four goals in six shots. Not bad at all. Steve-O definitely applying pressure. Didn't have as many goals nearly as eight shots and one goal. But and the Puffins just, just playing really solid Rocket League. And kind of they just are. Took I mean, blizzard. 14 shots tells you all you need to know about that particular contest. But Pretty part much. of that is because the Blizzard weren't or were too afraid to get away from their back line. They were letting the Puffins have possession and control the ball at the midfield the entire game. When Pretty you much, give a Rocket yeah. League team, no matter what their skill level is, that kind of control and possession they're going to burn you nine times out of ten. So as we get into game two, that's something the Blizzard have to fix. The Blizzard going to have to start contesting these balls much easier, or much better, I should say. Not allow the Puffins to gain any ground. Speaking of Puffins, Waffles off the backboard is rough towards the net. Point blank tried, but Steve-O, to clear it away, he'll have to wind back as Zero is right there at the midfield to throw it into the corner. And a whiff all over the place. Here's Waffles. Down the line, gonna pop this one up. Point blank will whiff. This is really dangerous. Zero playing patiently, and it's knocked away by Stevo. Ends up throwing it wide. Here's oh Stevo with a good dunk on on zero to make sure this play stays live. Waffles towards the net. It's wide. Good passing plays by the Puffins. Not able to get them in here, but they just need to continue that particular effort because that will pay dividends before too long. Good stuff from them so far. So you got to continue what they're doing. Blizzard have to scramble back this off the backward nice and high it was a good idea waffles is up though he'll whiff on the shot got a little bit of a piece of it not the right way center to zero towards the net steve-o is that a that looked like a field side flip uh we'll see i didn't quite see where the effort was defensively it was yeah absolutely was that's a good call out the i think it was steve-o that was on the back line if he puts he just goes forwards with it goes forward with it and uh, actually, he doesn't really need to even flip there. As long as he gets a nose on it, it's yep. going to go roughly to the same spot. And he just panicked a little bit. It happens. Yep. Yep. We've all been there. Zero. Wisely towards the opposite side of play. You know, whiff off the wall is going to be rough anyways. Point blank. Tanks on Steve-O. Waffles is there lurking. Waiting for it. He decides <laughs> not to catch it. Instead, he bounces it off the wall. Can't get it past zero. This is towards the net. And Steve-O to throw it away. Puffin's playing pretty good defense right now. No, well, they are realizing the, what the Blizzard are trying to do, and they're basically limiting the Blizzard's chances. And Steve-O in front of that net, although he had the side flip earlier, generally speaking, has played pretty solid D all series long and just continuing that particular effort. You know, they do that, and the, the Puffin's will be fine in the series. Point blank. It's a nice long clear. It's off target. And leave it for zero to try to bounce it off the wall. Not going to work. Steve-O challenges. He's backwards. Attempts the half flip. Still works out as he's uncontested. I believe that was Waffles just slamming into zero, forcing him to not be able to get back in time. And leaves point blank out to dry. Now zero is in a great position. Steve-O attempt. No, he doesn't challenge. It's a good idea to stay away from that. Yeah, part of that's just realizing what angle the the players coming in at the ball. That's a shot. Oh, but uh, if you realize that the the players coming in at the ball on a side angle, he's not going to get much velocity on it towards the net unless he does a really really freaky air roll at the last possible second. So majority of the time, it's pretty safe to let that one come down and then play it on the bounce as long as you don't have these teammate coming in. Speaking of bounces, bouncing around the corner, zero, very patient. Steve could have taken a shot oh. out to Waffles. Oh, a big bump on point blank. Yep. That that forces the goal. We're tied. I'm not sure if, if Point Blank had the save regardless, but this bump is absolutely savage either way. As that was, yeah, he didn't have it regardless coming backwards. But super, super good play to just hit the goal line really hard, remove any opposition, take the path of least resistance, put that ball in, and we are tied up. It ended up behind, the shot ended up behind the goaltender. And mm -hmm. it's something we stress, especially here in the Platinum League, is the placement of shots. It's a fantastically placed shot, a great play by the Puffins all around, but a dunk. Here, point blank has a chance. Steve wisely comes out of net. 
challenge. Minute 45 left. Steve attempting an air carry. Not going to work. Still solid Rocket League from both teams. Now, so, uh, one thing I do like about the Platinum League is the stress of just great Rocket League. You just have to play good Rocket League and you're going to be fairly successful. Yeah. You don't have to be flashy. You don't have to do anything crazy. Just get it done and it'll work. Have you ever heard of the uh, the KISS mantra? Oh, Keep sure. It simple, Keep simple, it stupid. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. That's exactly what uh, that's exactly what the what these teams just focus in on. Just play core Rocket League. You don't need to be all flashy. You don't need oh, giant oh, ceiling oh, shots oh, and point, point blank, blank hits one from point blank and the blizzard up 2-1. So he was being challenged here by Waffles, who was low on boost. He's trying to make some sort of momentum here. He side flipped. I think he was trying to time the side flip to make the ball go the other way, but point blank. Challenge the ball properly and right at the net. Perfect shot here with just about a minute left. The Blizzard take the lead. Slim, but it's there. All important with time running down. Point Blank gets a piece of that. Waffles keeping it alive, but Point Blank will... Yeah, yeah it'll, 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 it'll clear. Yeah, barely, but it'll clear. Zero towards the net. Is it going to bounce in? Off the post. He finishes it off. Yeah, that's a little bit of a slow defensive play. Back Getting back to their own net as well as I'm not sure what happened near the sidewall that kept the second player from getting back to the goal line, but that is something that they will pay for as the Blizzard take the lead. And notice the Blizzard have started to be a lot more aggressive in this game too. They're no longer doing the 1-1 style that they were doing before for the most part. Sometimes they'll default back to that, but yeah. they are a whole lot more aggressive and it's paying dividends here. Waffles keeping it away from his frame. Trying to close up this lead here. Can't get it past point blank. He flipped into that nicely. Devo again, trying to gain some control. This is really dangerous. Backflips into it. Here is point blank. Can't get a touch on it. The Waffles is up for the pass just in case. And the pass play will oh. just enough speed to get a pass point blank. Three to two. They have a chance. Point blank was reading the initial play. This play right here, Steve-O, he was, point blank was thinking that that was going to be a shot. Whip Waffles comes in and just puts a little bit more pace on it to get it past the oncoming hood of point blank. Good work with 21 seconds to go, and they have the lead going into the final seconds. Here we go. Puffins have a chance. They need to attack now. Attack they do. Steve-O towards the net. Point blank will whiff. That's not oh. quite enough, in fact. Waffles right in. A zero wraps around the ball at the wrong time. Ten seconds left. We're tied at three. That is huge. As Waffles super, super patient on it. Realizes that the whiff happened, and Zero tries to come across to take it away. He can't make contact, and Waffles has an empty net to shoot at. That's a huge goal to get, as neither team wants to give up game two. Here we go. Ten seconds left. Hotly contested both games so far. Steve-O in the corner. He's going to let it fall. Demo. Waffles. Shot. Breaks the tie. Nice work from Waffles. And that may just cinch it as the Puffins come storming back with two unanswered in the final 20 seconds. Pass out into the middle. And Zero realizes way too late to where it's going. He needs to... Uh, well... He needs to try to cut off the angle for that pass. It's the only way he's going to be able to stop that after it comes screaming out of the corner. And that is going to do it for game number two. The Puffins, solid to play all around. Even when the seconds were dying out, they did not panic. They made their plays, played it well. The Blizzard, they, you know, they had, they had a couple of instances here and there where just sheer brilliance, but not quite enough, at least in this particular game. When they are hemmed into their end, they're too timid. Straight up, they are not. They're, yes. they're too hesitant to go for the ball and get the big clear. They have to limit the Puffins' chances because if you give the Puffins three, four, any Rocket League team, three, four, five chances at the net with the boost starve happening and all that, then it's going to be over before it's not. And the, and the Puffins have been able to take advantage of that on multiple occasions. Blizzard need to be less tentative to the ball. Hit the ball. Pretty, pretty hard much, as you can, pretty, as far away from your net as you can. And, and pretty much kind of just all around, too. You know, you got Zero just kind of sitting there waiting for something to happen. They're playing reactive, which maybe against some teams would work, but the Puffins, it isn't. They need yeah. to get that rotation going, get the spin cycle going, as I like to call it. Devo feels backflips on that shot. Waffles manages to get it past Devo. Control? Not quite. Blizzard able to get back in time. A lucky pinch. Waffles has to scramble for it. Yep, he'll and get scramble he does. Gets the save. 
Good stuff gets to get back, and not a lot of pace on the pinch, which uh, helped the Puffins out quite a bit here. But uh, again, the ball seemingly in the Blizzard end for a lot of the time, and they, oh, two-point swing here? Maybe? Oh, That's oh, a good one. Maybe. Zero yep. puts that one home, and it's a one nothing lead for the Blizzard. Devo trying to get a pass out to Waffles, and Zero just hanging out in the net. It worked out for him that time, as that bounce off the backboard was just not high enough. Uh, again, something on the Plat League that a lot of players need to work on is working on those passes, making sure that they're in a decent spot, and you're not panicking when you're passing. Uh, if you can't make the pass, sometimes it's better to just not go for it and play the small ball. I think the first play there, though, was actually a dribble shot attempt. I don't think it was a pass because it was it was a his teammate was well back at the halfway line, not reading pass at all. I think it was just a dribble chance trying to put that in the near side post. But either way, you're right. If you know the pass is the uh, if it is meant to be a pass, it needs to be a lot more accurate, and there needs to be some communication there that's coming as well. Waffles has an open net. He will put it away. Just clunky play, but they were there. They're exactly where they needed to be to make it happen. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty, that's a fairly straightforward goal. Ended up being uh, no Blizzard players in between them and or the net and the ball. And that is something they will pay for 10 times out of 10. 1-1 one, one game as we play on. About a minute and 15 gone. Zero. Might have a breakaway. Waffles grabbing some boost right at the net. Oh, he messed up but put his car right exactly where it needed to be. Zero Azrith taking the lead here. Yeah, he, uh, he bailed himself out here pretty well. Uh, basically, like that, that first shot, if he's going to take that, he needs it needs to go in. Like it, Other than that, just drive it home. And uh, he's able to recover on it, get the double, and uh, get a little bit of style points, I guess, for the shot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but it all counts the same. It's 2-1. Yeah, that's one of those ground plays you don't really see a lot of. Zero will whiffs, but so will Wiffles. Point blank was up. Steve-O popped. He's going to finish it off here. He will. A little freestyle action in there, too. Yeah, a little bit of Moy. A little bit of Moy. Uh, waffles with the miss coming across, but the the reason that's a big um, play in front from Waffles on the miss is because it drew out both defenders. It left basically an empty net for Steve-O to shoot at, and he adds a little bit of freestyle onto it. No big deal, but that's a big, big goal to get as he ties the game up. Steve-O back after kickoff, trying to take some control. Challenged by Zero. Waffles needs to bail him out, and he does. No, well, he tried. Zero just going to cross the ball, wait for point blank to get up in the play. It looks like Blizzard have finally figured out what needed to change their zero to not go all the way back to net like he had been in the first two games. Just going to make them all the more dangerous here with three oh. minutes left. Everybody out of boost. Evo scrambling back to clear it away. And he does. Now Stevo right at point blank. I saw what he was trying to do, get underneath the ball and flip it up, but kind of losing control. Now they're double committed. And again, the Blizzard can't take advantage of that. Well, the, the, while the Puffins were two in the same spot, so were the Blizzard, and they were closer to their own goal line, so that made it a little bit tougher to work with. But uh, something I'm noticing, that Waffles really needs to be a little bit better with his boost management. The uh, the Blizzard had a little bit of possession going there about 30 seconds ago and was not able to... Um, er, and They had a little bit of possession, and it was way too easy to boost star Waffles for, of his boost, and he wasn't able to get any more. So he really got to be... Is, is, has got to be more conservative with it, Use it when needed. Don't use it. Just get down the field. Use your flips. And pick up those, uh, those the boost pads. Yep. Yeah. Don't, don't sure. always go for the canisters. Go for the pads, too. But Waffles is up for this shot. He has enough to oh, make it. Towards yeah. That, that beautiful play. The Puffins take the lead. That's a nice, nice pass into the middle. And Waffles reads it perfectly. Just has the air roll just enough so we can get the right wheel well on top of it. And adds just enough pace to put it underneath the bar. Hard to read where that shot is going to go. Hard to read that he's going to be able to make contact on it. And the Blizzard pay for it. 3-2 Puffins after a really, really nice shot. That was that was beautifully executed. I like how Stevo came off the wall. And he actually thought about putting another touch on the ball. But he just let it go. It was beautifully played by both teammates. But now, coming up on a minute and a half left in this game. Another open net. Blizzard just leaving it open. The Smangwins looking for it. Light touch and point blank gets there in time. Yeah, that's it. That's something. If you are uh, oh. if you are the player going to that ball and trying to put it in front of the net, just put that thing towards the net. Don't worry about trying to pass to your teammate there. See if you can cut the angle because the, the defensive player is in the spot to take that one away. Oh and it's 17 to go and a nice save coming across the, the top of the box. Waffles got there just in time. 
dunked on point blank as it rolls into the offensive end. Here's Zero able to knock it up the wall. He's going to take a little breather here as the Puffins retreat. Steve-O feels backflip towards the net. Waffles will knock it up. Steve-O straight up. Tough play to make. We're seeing some mechanical prowess here from the Puffins. You know, I kind of wonder if they've been listening to Cloudfield a little bit. <laughs> I mean, at this point, you got to be able to get up and make those plays. Just on, if you're if you're stuck underneath the ball, to be able to get up and knock the ball away from an oncoming offensive player is a good skill to have in case of emergency. You never want to find yourself underneath the ball, but if yes. you ever do, the ability to be able to knock it away is second to none defensively. We were trying to set something up for Waffles, but Waffles is a little too close. As the Blizzard is struggling to make anything happen here. The Puffin's not making any mistakes either. They got a man back and a man rotating back. So the man that was already back can slam it away just like that. That's exactly the sequence of events right there by both Puffins. Zero towards the net. Waffles gets there just in time, cutting off the angle. S holding on to the slim margin. Five seconds left. Just keeping it away from their net is the Puffins. They are looking at the series win right here. Zero couldn't make it happen. Puffins, 3-0 lead here so far. Yeah, they uh, are able to... That was game three already? This yeah. game this series moved quick. And, that's the, and with that said, Puffins able to take the series. They have the series win. Now they have a chance to go for the uh, go for the foot on the throat here. Blizzard, a couple of one goal games in a row. They are playing better than they did in game one, but they're not doing enough. They're not doing enough to keep the ball in their possession. Puffins making smart challenges out of the midfield and taking the ball away when it's most important to the Blizzard to keep it. So Puffins, keep doing what you're doing. Blizzard, they've been less tentative to the ball, but they're still playing a little bit too defensively and they're bunching up way too much in my opinion still. So. Pretty straightforward. Ninja, did we lose you? Discord? Hey, there you are. Hi. There we go. Hello, welcome back. We were having... Uh, yeah, my Discord just freaked out. That was very odd. Hmm. You and Discord have not gotten along this week. You know, no, <laughs> it's just just my internet in general. And trust me, it will be fixed uh, tomorrow. So no good. worries. Uh, we got new hardware come in, so it's all good. Good. Yeah, getting rid of this stuff Dang thing. <laughs> Blasted like stuff and things. Anyways, waffles towards the net on a dunk. Point blank coming out of the net for that. A little bit too far. Zero is able to get back waffles right oh. in. Oh, what an angle. Yeah, really, really good angle here from Waffles. He basically finds it on the back wall and is able to get to it and just causes a miss on the back wall as well. That's a big, big miss from point blank on that backside. He needs to make contact there and not leave his goalie out to drive. one nothing lead, 19 seconds in. Puffins feeling really confident right now as they've already taken the series. They're going to try to make it another one as Waffles can't get above the ball enough. Oh, big bump on zero. Now Waffles pass point blank. Stevo is there ready for the pass. Fortunately, the ball gets knocked into the left side. Sorry, right side corner. My camera view is all messed up. <laughs> Gotta love it. Play develops in the midfield. Trenches are starting to be dug. Zero is going to take a shot. No point blank gets there first. Communication issues coming out, Curtis. Yeah, a little bit, and it's a it's a communication issues that are really on both sides. Blizzard are, are kind of in the same spot oh. at the same time. Oh. And on the other side, the Puffins able to take advantage of a little overextension, but the Puffins are having communication issues as well. Set up for Stevo, point blank, realizing that he was in trouble. He actually wheeled it around back, nice and quick. He just ended up feels back flipping. It happens. It's unfortunate for them, but it's two nil here. Blizzard, man. I, 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 I'm having a hard time, you know, trying to figure out how they can improve because they They've seem to be making, they're, they're making the same mistakes that they have been in the last three games. Yeah, they have found a way to adjust to it, but at the same time, they've got some time. They need a, They need a couple of goals just for momentum's sake to get themselves going, but they can't give up contact like that, and that's going to be one that Steve was going to creep in. But I mean, three nothing lead. It's starting to get a little bit more out of hand now. Two nothing was a little more accessible, but the the Blizzard just they're ending up in each other's back pockets and it's been yeah. the theme really since the second game ended and they stopped playing a 1-1 strategy so look that's got to change otherwise this is going to be a 5-0 so they're trying they're trying to adjust they're doing the thing that we we were saying they needed to do they're just right not quite executing it the way 
that works against these puffins if Steve gets a nice save. But oh no, oh, waffles towards the net again. It'll roll up the side, barely. He's, and, and, and we can't really fault the blizzard. You know, they're doing pretty good. Uh, the problem is that the team plays are just not working out for him as Zero takes a shot there and it's just way off. I mean, if, if the if the team plays like that aren't working out, if the first time passes aren't working out and trying to go for those shots, then start playing a little more physical. Start playing a little more patient in the offensive end. The Blizzard have had a little bit of room to work once they've hit the halfway line, but they're rushing all their plays towards that net. That's something, if they can take their time, start to set up a little bit of a strategy, say, hey, you know what? I've got the ball at midfield. You be fullback for me. Let's go ahead and put this in the empty net after you demo. You know, try maybe something like that. Yeah. And maybe it'll help and try to draw out the Puffins from their defensive positions. Yeah, which is absolutely. exactly what the Puffins have been doing to the Blizzard anyways. So we'll yeah, have to see exactly if the Blizzard that. can complete their transformation here from Blizzard to flat out Snowstorm. I don't know. Who knows? Yeah. Steve-O, oh, uh, but what nice doink. Yeah, this is a this is a touch here that really ruined the last defender. Steve-O, he's actually got the defender sitting, um, I think that was uh, point blank. He was facing away from the ball. That's what it basically comes to. He put himself at the near side post. He needs to put himself in a spot where he can come across the face of goal and make a save there because he's not going to get it moving backwards at that pace. So uh, a little bit of a positioning error for the for the Blizzard there defensively, and we'll see if they can recover from it. But a nice shot by the Puffins. Point blank. Heading up for zero. Stevo is uphill with. Waffles patiently waiting underneath it. Puffins playing very tight against each other. It's a 4-0 game. I guess they can experiment a little bit. Zero. Zero's just having a bad day, the poor guy. <laughs> Point blank, too. I mean, both players on the Blizzard. Not for naught, man. They're, they are giving it the old college try. They're just having a rough game. Yeah, and I mean, and they're they're good players. There's no doubt about that. And they just, it's it's kind of snowballs. You make one mistake and uh -huh. you start thinking about that when it turns into three or four. So it's, oh! when we go, say they're able to get one here, though. Zero puts it home. Well, Got to get those, as many goals as you can as Point Blank will whiff this. But it faked out Steva, so it worked out. You know, just a consequence of circumstance right there. <laughs> Alliteration, yep. gotta love it. There's a minute and a half left in this one. I think it's it's yeah. safe to say, like, getting uh, getting another goal, making it a 4-2 game, uh, should be a priority for the Blizzard, at least to try to give them momentum going into game five. They do not want to get swept here, especially by a division rival as uh, Steve-O puts that one in the back of the net as well. Good placement for him. Just scoring all over the place here. Steve, actually, he picked up a couple of boost pads. He, he was flipping towards that ball, and he barely used any boost. If you guys need an example of how to make a play without having enough boost, that right there is the perfect example. Steve-O showing him how it's done. Yeah. Well-timed on the floor bounce. Able to get uh, just enough momentum to put that in the top half after oh, he just touches the ground, and the Blizzard come across to make a save. Point blank. Uh, he tried to flip into it to flip it up, but it's not working out here. Now they're a little close. Finally, the clear. Blizzard trying to gain some momentum for the next game. I think that they they have to be kind of down and out, at least in this game. They, they're already starting to make some adjustments. You can kind of see that as Steve-O tries to take the shot off the corner, but Blizzard need to flip into this. They will not. Waffles makes it a 6-1 lead. Hey, uh, Curtis, I hope you, uh, hope you brought that SPF 200. <laughs> yeah, I uh, I may need it before this is said and done. Look, I think I'm wearing a long sleeve shirt, I suppose. I mean, so, yeah. but uh, <laughs> like where, where we're going, I'm gonna need it. <laughs> where we're going, you don't need shirts. No. <laughs> Six one lead. I'll see myself out as long as the uh, path out is lined in braille. Six one with thirty five left. <laughs> oh, very good. There it is, Stevo, getting the meme completed. The Blizzard have to be feeling a little bit dejected. They need to start thinking about the next game. But, I mean, Waffles, I don't think he was necessarily going for the demo. It's just the way it worked out. Uh, possible bump, but, you know, it's the way it goes. But the Blizzard definitely looking to bounce back the next game. 30 seconds left in this one, so they could gather a little bit of momentum. Their goal right now, break that Brazil. Their way. They need to break it their way and not the Puffins way. Well, never mind. <laughs> As we say that, another uh, another one to the top, and essentially the Blizzard just kind of running around on their own end. The uh, a little bit late for Zero to realize where that ball is, and it's just a 
it's a collection of errors that have brought those to this point and we ha- there's another game of it left and i think for the result for the reasons of next week blizzard need to take a zero zero score line as a total refresh and get uh, get some things done in the offensive end this next game yeah they, they really do they, they need to get to the offensive end more than anything once they get there they're fairly solid but time does wind down zero's gonna take a shot just for the sake of it and the puffins make this a 4-0 score line right now i love the penguin on top of uh that was waffles it's fantastic yeah blizzard i mean, mean blizzard is straight out struggling tonight they're just having an off night i mean and it's it's not so much that they're having an off night as much as this, as it is the puffins that are causing them to have an off night they're forcing the blizzard into awkward situations and then it's snow it's a snowball effect because games one and two the puffins really force the blizzard to play the puffins pace and then a lot of unforced errors in games three and four have brought us to this point where the the blizzard have been able to take advantage of just or the the puffins have been able to take advantage of just some some mental lapses as it would be on the blizzard because they're worrying about their previous mistake it's it's a slippery slope to fall down but that's where we sit in a zero zero game in game five Zero went up for that save, and it was a yep. good thing he touched it on the way down because that messed up the next shot. Now, slight breakaway. Steve-O rotating in. He oh, slowed it down point. a little too much. Waffles is there and off the post. Now, point blank, and it's in. Finally, they get a score that's meaningful. I mean, it's just been so rough for the Blizzard so far. Well, Zero uh, able to get the play to the front of the net on the dribble, but the really good defensive play. The problem with the defensive play, if you're going to make that play, you really, really want to have that go into your defensive corner. Instead, it goes off the right headlight back into the top of the box where Point Blank is waiting for an easy one, and it's one nothing Blizzard. Waffles in the corner, whiff all over the place, and it's fine. Point Blank to clear it. Zero moving up. Steve-O expecting this one to go around the corner. Great play prediction by Steve-O, but now he's out of the play. Waffles to clear. And he'll play it up forward, point blank up to knock it down. That's a great heads up defensive play. Just stop the play before it even starts by point blank. He turns it into offense, but Waffles is there. Good rotation by him. And a couple of nice shots immediately by the Blizzard who seem like they're playing a little bit of a different game here. They're able to get it towards the front of the net. They're limiting the Puffins' chances for the time being as well. So they're playing a bit of a calmer game. And as I say that, they get burned on a double, double commit on the sidewall. And that may hurt, but a nice defensive play to get that away. Yeah, Steve kind of messed up on the offense there, too. Just rushed the play and had to make a correction. It was overcorrected. And flips galore, and Steve will take control. I like the fakes all over the place uh, by zero. But it didn't quite work out this time. It's point blank. Trying to line this up. Bopped up by Waffles. Past zero. Steve can't finish it off. Zero kind of had the angles covered a little bit, but point blank recovers well. Thought he was going to move up for the clearance, but it'll be zero. Off the backboard, Devo lines up. Stopped by zero. Point Blank needs to get there. He can't. Now it's Puff, the Puffins, both of them, trying for a pass play. Didn't quite work out as zero interferes. And now he's got no boost. Zero in the corner. Stop up by Waffles. Point Blank trying, but it'll be Waffles. On the breakaway, Zero is racing back. So is Point Blank. Stevo for the shot and the roll up off the corner. Waffles thinking about it, but Point Blank gets the doink just enough to pop it past. Now Stevo towards the net. Point Blank can't get it. It's wide. Zero to clear. Finally, some calm by the Blizzard really paying off here as they did not panic. I didn't see one panic flip at all as Stevo ends up knocking it away. I mean, as you say that though, they did have a couple of options or a couple of things there where they did double commit at the ball going to, to their net. Communication yes. has been an issue all series long for the Blizzard as to who's going for what, and it causes more problems here. They live to tell about it on this particular occasion, but for the majority of this series, that has not been the case. Zero to line this up. Steve-O is there. Dunk on Steve-O. Waffles has to race back. Can he get there in time? He will. The pinch to the corner. Two minutes left. Tied at, or not even tied. Blizzard still have the one. They've managed to keep the ball away from go- uh, their goal line so far but the puffins looking to change that now as the big clear from waffles knocks it into the corner a doink steve-o is there to take advantage whiff all over the place that's an open net waffles right at zero but not enough 
Waffles will put it in. We're tied at one. Yeah, Zero found himself a little too far into the net. But uh, Zero, if he, he can't make that touch right there. If he's going to take that, he has to control it all the way up the backboard and go up and above. You cannot have that go off the top of your car to the front of the net. That is way, way too easy for a very, very hot Puffins team right now. And they will put that home nine times out of ten. Left it for point blank, did zero, and it's off the backboard. Zero is up for it, stopped by Steve-O. Great play read by Steve-O. Follow that one through as Waffles rotated back. Zero. Pinch off Steve-O, good play. Steve-O has to touch, he will not. It's an open net. Steve-O trying to get in control, but Zero could not get any angle on it. Now, oh. like right at the net, drew both goalies out. It was brilliant. Yeah, this is a this is a mistake by Waffles. He actually comes in. Stevo has a little bit of contact there. The Waffles comes in, removes his teammate and the ball. Then Waffles has to turn around and go for the shot that's coming from the top of the box from whence he sent from where he sent the ball and can't make it as it goes behind him into the far side. So good work by the Blizzard to take advantage. They take a two one lead, and this is the longest they've held the lead all series long. Point blank. Crossing in front of his net, it'll go towards the midfield. Here's Waffles, Steve-O with a tight rotation. Dealing boost is Waffles, a good idea. And Steve-O to tie it up quickly. Rapid fire goals here in the last 30 seconds or so. Waffles able to get the touch again off the back while he burns the static goaltender and puts it off the back. Steve-O reads it perfectly and just puts it right in between the two defenders there and it's deuces wild a minute seven to go. I left that for you, bud. <laughs> Appreciate okay. that. I know it's your favorite. I, I mean, it is. It's one of them. It's one of them. <laughs> if I hadn't taken it, you would have, though, and I would have been sad. Uh, no, I would have left it for you. Don't worry. Nah. Nah, oh, don't give me that. <laughs> right, but I would have left it for you. <laughs> Steve-O, off the wall. Hey, that's towards the net. Zero is in an awkward position. Breaking the tie already is the Puffins. <sighs> Man, when they need to score, they just do it. Yeah, point blank ends up with a defensive challenge that just goes a little bit awry, and Zero in front of his own net, just in a really awkward spot, with especially with the other Puffins player right there. Just an unfortunate bounce, um, but at the same point, uh, it, it was a decent challenge to have, but if you're going to have that challenge, you definitely want it to go vertically, not horizontally like it did there. Zero, right to Stevo, still on the Blizzard side. Uh, pops it up and above Waffles, who was waiting pretty much on the goal line. That, that would have been goalie interference if this was hockey, but it's not, thank God. Yeah. What do you have against hockey, Ninja? I, I got absolutely nothing against hockey. I'm a huge fan, <laughs> especially since I went to my first game. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Zero. <laughs> trying to clear oh, it no. away. Oh, no. Waffles is back. He okay. makes the touch nice and calm. They're trying to keep the lead here. The Puffins have that one slim margin. Point blank. One last try off the sidewall. Huge boomer, not gonna happen. He flips into the ball instead. Tries to dunk on Steve-O. Azrith attempting. Gotta keep the ball up here. Can they do it? It's towards the wrong way for them though. Off the curve, it hits the ground and the Puffins get the clean sweep on the blizzard. That is a huge, huge sweep for the Puffins as well. They played a dynamic game all series long. And the, the Blizzard, while a lot of games were close, I think games two, three, and five were the closest as they all were one goal deficits. They just, they, they, they shot themselves in the foot so many times in this series. And the Puffins were there to take advantage nine times out of 10. So good yep. stuff from the Puffins. They did their thing very, very well. And the Puffins, or the Blizzard even won the shot battle in this last game. That they did. Do you want to mention the out-of-town scoreboards as Jay put up in the chat? Dodgers and Bulls 5-0 in the Platinum League. Hmm. Um, yeah, that was the Plat League. Wizards 5-0 the Pandas in the Plat League. Uh, who else do we have? The rest is all Champ League. So Elite and Demolition, that was 3-2 to two to the Elite. Fantastic play there. Fox is in the Blizzard in the Champ League. That ended up being 2-3 in favor of the Blizzard. And the Pirates 5-0 the Rhinos champ league style that mm. is a tough pill to swallow a lot of uh mix matched teams this week as we had another 5-0 tonight yeah the rhinos the rhinos result really surprises me from the champ league as well because they uh they played pretty well in yeah. their season debut last week so with that said though that is going to do it tonight for freestyle friday as it was a plat league showcase tomorrow we've got some champ league showcase for you as the Ew. as saturday Primetime Saturday comes into full focus. It is going to be the Flames and the Hurricanes Champ League. That starts your first series off. It is the Bulls and Dodgers and the Wolves and Puffins. 
those are your two and three matchup as uh, Cloudfield makes his debut for hey. season six right. against Ray in the final series. So cool. with that said, uh, a couple of shout outs that we got to that we definitely want to do uh, Arctic cooling. Definitely a huge sponsor for the MLB this yeah. season. Go to arctic.ac for your cooling needs for your rig and make sure you keep it as low temperature as possible in your system. And on the other side, Balls Garana, they sponsor the MLB Play of the Week. Go ahead and send the hashtag MLDPOTW attached to your favorite clip from the MLB games you've seen this week. Send them the ML Doubles account. The winner of the Play of the Week will get a case of Balls Garana sent to their door. And don't forget to use MLD as a promo code at balls.com to receive free shipping on your order. With that said, for Kendo, who came in a little while earlier, and Ninja, I am Curtis saying goodbye and goodnight from ML Doubles. We're going to send a host over to Athena. So say hello to Athena from ML Doubles. We'll see you guys tomorrow night, starting at 9 Eastern for Flames and Canes. Have a good night, everybody. It's not that I can set you free Don't wanna cry a river I see you standing in the rain Without you I go insane I feel your touch, I want you near Without you I have no fear